Hello, and welcome to Virtual Obstetrics and Gynecology. Today, we are accompanied by the presence of Dr. Eric Salcedo, pediatric hematologist, and in this video, we are going to talk about the incompatibility in our age group and the mother fetus. Dr. Eric, can you explain to us a bit about the blood groups and the RH types that there are? Yes, the blood groups are those which determine what group or RH a certain person pertains to. These blood types are antigens that are located in the blood on the outside of the erythrocyte and they determine the blood type. There are four types, A, B, AB, and AO. And the blood type can either be positive or negative, and this is based on genetic traits. Doctor, what does the RH incompatibility consist of? The incompatibility is given by a genetic cause. We develop our blood type from inherited traits from our parents. For example, a mother can be A positive, and if the father is B positive, and they have a child that is B positive, there will be an incompatibility in the blood types, because the mother who has the blood type A would have antibodies which are anti-B type, and the fetus or baby would have type B blood, which would be an incompatible blood type. RH is based on, for example, a mother that is OR negative and her spouse is AB positive. That would result in an incompatibility in type and RH, which is of great importance given the various complications. Dr. Alejandro, in respect to the mother, RH negative, what is the plan or objective to continue the pregnancy? The recommendations are to be alert, first of all, whichever situation may occur in which the blood of the baby may trespass into the mother. In this case, may be a warning signs of miscarriage, premature birth, or some type of trauma, any accident or fall. In these cases, it is recommended they apply a vaccine anti-Rogan or anti-D. This prevents the sensibility of the moment at which the product is born, and it is recommended that the if the baby is positive and the mother is negative, that they have to apply the vaccine to the mother in order to prevent any sensibility in any future pregnancies. This is why it is very important that if any patient presents any of these signs or you immediately go to your gynecologist and go through a follow-up procedure. One of the main worries that a mother may have that who is RH negative is if the baby will have any repercussions. Will it have fetal anemia? As the time goes by, these cases are becoming less occurrent. But nonetheless, if there is any history of the mother having her baby without having receiving the vaccine, what we normally do is determine if there is a fetal anemia. This is usually done through an echo Doppler done by a medical radiologist in which they determine the level of fetal oxygen consumption. There are certain signs that will allow us to determine if these types of problems are occurring. Previously, they used to do amniocentesis in other studies, but nowadays they are minimally invasive. Usually amniocentesis are done by puncturing through the abdomen, puncturing the fetus sac, and then taking a small sample of amniotic fluid. But obviously these tests have a lot more risk involved, in which nowadays are rarely used due to their relatively high risk associated. Dr. Eric, what are the consequences of the newborn in regards to incompatibility? In regards to the incompatibility in newborns, there can be incompatibility to the group, which would be A or O. The most simple common thing that can occur in is jaundice, a yellow tint that can occur in some uh, cases, which may even require phototherapy in order to elevate the bilirubin levels. But in more gravitic cases, like in incompatibility to RH, there can be belly, belly rubin levels that are really high, which can result in the central nervous system that can result in pernictus, which is the infiltration of the ganglion of the brain, causing spasticity and even convulsions. And this would be if it was extrauterine. In intrauterine forms, the fetus could present infiltration of a substance to the midbrain, resulting even up to the death of that moment of birth. This is why we insist on pregnancy control. 
by having the proper control, all of this is preventable. Doctor, one of the most common doubts that the patient may have is once they have the baby, should they have any laboratories done? Because when they arrive at any consultation, they ask, is this really all necessary? Yes, of course, it is very important. Both pre and postpartum gynecologists should do laboratories to both the mother and to, to the father in order to determine if there will be any compatibility. Minimally, there should be at least a blood type and the blood level laboratory taken in order to determine if there will be any complication. If the baby begins with any of the signs we mentioned beforehand, then they can determine if the baby is a candidate for phototherapy at the moment of birth, or if they can be taken home and treated at home with sun baths. Thank you very much. We hope to resolve any of your doubts. There may be many more that we also accumulated throughout this time. That's why we suggest that you write to us on our page. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.